Well, every cat needs a cat toy. And here we have a cat toy called the Cat Stick. And the Cat Stick is a small box, what we have right here. And this small, very sturdily made black box has a number of useful things. We have a pair of LFOs with three different selectable waveforms, square, triangle, and sawtooth. And we also have a joystick, which allows you to control two parameters at once. And here, all these other controls are controlling how the joystick is applied. You can have the joystick control one of two VCAs, or you can have the joystick actually control any voltage-controlled parameter you'd like in a synthesizer. This does interface with the kitten and the cat. However, this also would interface with almost any modular synthesizer, since it does work on the one volt per octave system. So here, I'm controlling a joystick, where I can mix in these control voltages. You can see these lovely blinking lights. The cat stick as an accessory to go along with the cat. We're going to show you the cat by Octave Electronics, but before I show you the cat, let me show you the kitten. The kitten is a single oscillator um, monophonic synthesizer uh, that really has a very nice punch to it. Uh, you have a, a sawtooth wave, and I'm going to add some harmonics, subharmonics, to get that. Here's just the, uh, the uh, square wave alone. Add a sawtooth. And uh, let's, ha let's throw in a little sampled hold to the filter. Yes, that's that sample and hold to the filter with a little bit of resonance in there. Give that sound. quite a lot out of a monosynth, uh, one oscillator monosynth. You've got subdividers here, you've got a beautiful filter. Um, this is somewhat like a, a reduced or cut down ARP Odyssey, and yet uh, it has its own unique character. So here is the kitten, now let's take a look at the cat. I have before me the cat by Octave Electronics. Uh, the forerunner of Voyetra and Turtle Beach and all that later in the 90s. Uh, this is an instrument from the mid-70s, and it's similar in layout to um, the Arp Odyssey. Uh, beautiful two, two VCO uh, monosynth with uh, some interesting twists. Now what I'm going to do is play a bass line, and let's get some sample and hold rhythms going here. So uh, what I'll do is with the sample and hold... I'm going to control the filter, so we're going to get some interesting rhythms. That's what I'm looking for, sampled hold rhythms. So let's go. Okay. All right, now that's sort of a, a bass sound, so to speak. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the LFO and re-trigger the envelope generators. So we get that uh, repeated sound.
So there you have that famous uh, sample and hold rhythm, which uh, is a great effect. And I can raise the filter resonance to make it more pronounced or take it down to make it more subtle. Let me uh, trigger this again with no filter. And, uh, pull up the filter resonance to make it more pronounced. Now, what you might do with this is you might have a master clock, which would then drive as a drum machine or a sequencer or any number of other things. Or maybe you can just try to get this in rhythm with your drummer. Whatever it is, this is an absolutely classic sound uh, that many people have used to good effect. <laughs> By changing the envelope just a little bit, I really change quite a bit the character of the sound. I gave a little bit more release time. Some of us dream with sounds like that.